hello soulmates welcome back to the channel my name is Nelu, and you're watching Nelu stitches today we are going to be drafting a princess that bustier i'll be showing you the, one of the easy way i used to draft or cut my princess that bustier so if you're interested in this please keep watching and please give this video a thumbs up please guys i need your like like this video to help the channel grow and if you're new to my channel please hit on the subscribe button below and subscribe join the family and you can also share this video to your friends and guys i use this fabric to draft this but unfortunately i missed some clips or i lost some clips when i was trying to edit so i used paper to illustrate on how you can cut this so you're going to see me next you'll see how you're going to cut this using a paper okay i'll use paper to illustrate how you can cut directly on your fabric using a paper so please keep watching and watch to the end okay let's okay guys so um i'm going to use paper to show you guys how i cut it on fabric okay because i lost the clip for that fabric on so i'll be using paper to illustrate exactly how you are going to cut this on your fabric okay so now let's assume this is our fabric okay so how much do you need to fold is your boss circumference divided by four plus extra six to seven inches okay both circumference divided by four plus extra six to seven inches so that is what i am folding here right now so after that i'm going to mark my armhole line my bust line and the waistline and also the under bust line so the arm the uh the ample line I'm working with is 8.5. The bust point is 10. The bust point is 10 inches. 10.5. The under bust is 13.5. While the waistline is 17. Chest line, bust line on the bust waist line so i'm going to connect this with a straight line here is the bust line this is the under bust line and here we have the waist line So this is waist, this is under bust, this is bust, this is chest line, okay? So now I'm going to mark, next I'm going to mark my shoulder, my shoulder divided by two is eight, okay? And I'm going to mark the same thing here, the shoulder divided by two is eight. I'm going to connect it with a straight line. Next, I'm going to mark the neck width I am working with. I, I used four inches wide and four inches deep. Four by four. And I will connect. Here, I'm going to use one inch for my shoulder slant. On the bust line, I'll mark my nipple to nipple divide by two. Divide by two, yeah, four. Okay, the nipple to nipple I'm working with is seven. Divide by two is 3.5. And because you're cutting directly on your fabric, you add half inch to that. So that is why I marked four. Four. So I'll connect them with a straight line. Connect my shoulder slant. To mark my armhole, I will divide this by two. What I have is 7.5 divided by two is 3.75. And on that line, I'm gonna come in by half an inch.
And on this chest line, I'll mark the bust I'm working with to divide by um, four. Plus sewing allowance. You can add one inch, 1.5 to two inches. So I'll connect the armhole now. Next, I'm going to mark the bustier. So to mark the bustier, you divide, you minus your under bust from your bust line. Whatever you have, you divide it by four. So in my case, I have four. I have seven. So seven divided by two is um, 3.5. So I'll mark one inch on this center front and the remaining inch here. So I'm going to mark one inch and then 2.5 this way. I'll do the same on the waistline. <laughs> One inch here and then 2.5 inch here. And then I'll connect them with a straight line. So on the bust line, I'm going to come down by half an inch and go up by half inch this is half inch here half inch up so i'll connect my princess that from this point to the half an inch like this okay so i just extend this line upward I'll extend this um, bus line upward. So now I'll connect this to this half an inch here. Like this. I'll do the same to this side. I'll connect to the half an inch. So now to get this point, I'm going to come down by one inch. You can do 1.5, one inch, 1.5, two inches. So I'm doing the one inch. I'll extend the one the line inside. I'll add one inch inward like this. So I'll connect this. use my pencil first of all to be sure of what I mark so I'm going to remark it with my marker okay so now you need to mark one inch like this and then you connect, you extend the line. Okay, so you recurve your armhole right now. So this is our new armhole. And then you blend this point. You blend this point. And we are done. So now you need to input all your measurements. My bust divide by 4 plus 1.5. Under bust divide by 4. Seven point seven five Plus this 3.5 inch. And your sewing allowance 1.5 okay so i'll just leave this at the one inch this is because the paper was not enough okay but if you are folding on your fabric like i said you fold your boss divide by four plus six to seven inches so the boss divide by four here is 
is 9.5 this is the 9.5 here and i don't have enough i only added extra three inches okay so you add extra seven to five um six to seven inches so what i have is just three inches extra so that is why you are seeing the fuck up here okay so on the waistline you mark your waist divide by four Plus this 3.5 inches, you, you mark it here, and then your sewing allowance. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. You add your sewing allowance, and then after that, you connect all your points together. So let's assume this is what I am working with. Okay. You have a funny shape, but don't worry, it will be okay. You have a funny shape, it will be okay. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this out. So if you are cutting on your fabric, remember to add your folding, I mean joining allowance, in case you're making a peplum or a uh, gown. So you add extra one inch or half an inch here. At the waistline okay also note that you add any sewing allowance of your choice make sure it's up to two inches two to three inches at the side not the 1.5 inch i was mentioning i was using 1.5 inch because um i don't have enough paper or fabric if i may use that so remember to add two inches to three inches sewing allowance not 1.5 okay Okay, so this is what you have. Remember to notch your under bust and your bust line. You notch like this. You notch and you notch. So that when joining, you will not find it difficult. You notch your bust and you notch your under bust. Okay. So if you observe, you see that this part has a funny shape at the down part. It has it's not straight it's kind of this way on the side so you come up by half an inch or 0 0.75 you mark half an inch or 0 0.75 like so and then you connect it you connect it to meet this point Use your ruler, oh, sorry guys, use your ruler to connect so that you have a straight and a nice line. So this is what I have. As you can see, it's straight now. So after sewing, you have a straight um, this thing. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I cut the back panel. I'm going to cut the back panel and this back panel is going to be on the part of my red, okay because i have the clip of that one i'll insert the back panel um tutorial so this is what we have after cutting
so guys this is for the back panel here i marked 1.5 inch for my zipper allowance okay and this is my armhole line and here is the bust line and this is the waist line okay so now i'm going to mark my neck width from that zipper allowance side i'll mark the four inches we marked for the front and then the depth is going to be one inch and then i'm going to connect that and now i'm going to mark my shoulder divided by two which is eight inches okay shoulder divided by two starting from that zipper allowance line you mark your shoulder divided by two and on this chest line i'll mark the same thing shoulder divided by two which is eight inches okay and i'll connect with a straight line like so okay connect this straight like this and next i'm going to mark my armhole okay right now i'm connecting my neckline you connect your neckline okay so i use the neck width of four inches which is the same with the front and then the neck depth of one inch for the back okay so you extend the neckline towards the zipper allowance and now i'll slant my shoulder by one inch and i'll connect to the neck line like this okay so next i'm going to divide that point by two but before then i'll mark my boss divide by four plus two inches for sewing allowance and i'll divide this by two whatever i have i marked there and i'm going to go in by half an inch and i will connect like so then i'll curve the armhole like this okay so this is what i have so next we are going to mark our nipple to nipple at the waistline i'm going to go in by half an inch here like this from the zipper allowance side i went in by half an inch this is to eliminate zipper bulge and i will connect towards the bust line So next, I'm going to measure my bust, divide by 4, plus 2 inches for sewing allowance. Here, my bust divided by 4, plus 2 inches for sewing allowance. And on the waistline, you do the same thing. Waist divided by 4, plus 2 inches, and then your dart allowance, either 1.5 or one inch so here i'm marking my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two which is three three point five plus half inch for sewing allowance so after that i'm going to connect with a straight line like this okay nipple to nipple divided by two following that from that zip side though okay so you mark it and then i'm going to mark it that of half inch on both side half inch here half inch the other side that means i used one inch that allowance so I'll connect and the dart stopped one inch before um, above the bust line. Okay, so this is what we have. I hope you can see this clear enough. So my waist divided by four plus one inch for my dart and two inches for sewing allowance. So I'll connect. So you connect like so, and then for the princess that I want to use princess that for the back. If you're not using it, you can leave yours like this. So I went up by one inch from that um for the midpoint of the armhole, and I'm going to connect it like this. Because I want to use a princess that for the um 
back panel also so if you're not using a princess that just leave it the way it was don't connect like this and we are true with this okay and remember to replace the half inch you mark out on the waistline at the zipper allowance side okay remember to add after marking your waist divide by four you add your um that allowance which is one inch or 1.5 or two inch and then you add your sewing allowance of two inches and then you replace the half inch we are going to cut out from the zipper allowance so that you will not have shortage okay so i'm recovering the back armhole you extend it inside just like we did to the front panel you extend it inside by half inch or one inch and then you recurve it okay that is just what i did now and i'm cutting this out okay so i'm going to cut the shoulder slant the neckline and we are true with this if you watch up to this moment and if you find this video helpful please support the channel by liking this video and also sharing it on your social media platforms and guys if you're new and you've not subscribed what are you waiting for please hit on the subscribe button below and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any question or anything just leave a comment for me on the comment section and i'll be going through them and we are through with this tutorial okay guys i'm cutting out the other part of the that so if you want you can also go up by one inch on your waistline just to eliminate the zipper bulge but if you don't like you can leave it like this and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video love you guys bye